luge is a sport in which you lie on your back on a sled and slide down an ice track with your feet forward. Originally from Switzerland and Northern Europe, luge was introduced as an official sport at the 9th Winter Olympics in Innsbruck in 1964. A total of four gold medals were awarded in luge at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, with Germany winning three and Austria won. Beijing 2022 will feature men's single, women's single, doubles and team relay. There will also be four gold medals in Beijing. The competition will be held at the National Bobsled Center in Yanqing, with 16 curves of different angles and gradients. Bobsleigh, luge and skeleton use the same course, but from different starting points. The maximum width of the track is 1.5 meters, with a total of 11 to 18 turns. The slope of the track needs to be specifically designed, with a drop between 100 to 150 meters. The sledge body is composed of two sledge blades, seat plate, and two bridge. The weight of the double sledge is between 25 to 30 kilograms. The sledge blade and steel body part needs to be polished before and after use, and adjusted to the appropriate angle according to the room temperature and ice temperature, and the athlete's skill level. Athletes' uniforms are made out of stretchable materials, and gloves are made of soft, delicate materials with sharp nails. They are also equipped with special equipment such as shoes and helmets. Athletes wear a helmet with a rounded face that reaches down to the chin, and wear a sleek jumpsuit and race gear to protect competitors while minimizing air resistance. Runners are allowed to increase their weight through counterweights, but will be disqualified if they exceed the weight limit. The athlete enters the preparatory state by assuming a sitting posture, holds the starting handle with both hands, and ready to start. When the green signal is lit up, the athlete finds the best speed by swinging back and forth and starting with added force. The athletes must have strong will, sensitive reaction, super explosive power and coordination in order to calmly control the sled to ensure speed and stability. In the competition, men's and women's individual events, each team is limited to three participants. Each athlete can slide four times. The total time of the four times is to calculate the rankings. The person with the fastest time is the winner. Team relay events need to complete the men's single, women's single, and double events. There is a relay bounce board above the finish line. Before passing the finish line, the athletes need to sit up and beat the bounce board so as to open the starting battle at the starting point. Finally, the time is added up to get the ranking. The luge has no steering wheel and no brakes. Racers can reach speeds of 140 kilometers per hour or more with a central force of more than 5 grams, equivalent to 5 times the force of body gravity. This is how it feels when you take corners at 200 km per hour in Formula 1. Bobsledding, which is measured by the thousands of a second, is dangerous and exciting, making it a brave man's game. Brave heroes are crazy about it and even pay for it with their lives. In the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics, Georgian luge athlete Nodar Kumaritashvili suffered a fatal crash during his final practice run for the 2010 Winter Olympics on the Whistler Sliding Center. He was thrown out of orbit at a speed of 145 kilometers. Although he was rushed to a hospital, in the end it is a pity that a young player failed to wake up. It is because of the accident that four years later in the Winter Olympics in Sochi, the race course was designed with more safety in mind. When it comes to luge, we have to mention Germany. Having won the total of 34 golds, 23 silver, and 23 bronze medals. Italy is in second place, having won just 7 gold medals and 17 overall. Jail Kako of Germany is the most successful Olympic luger, having won 5 medals, of which 3 are gold medals attained in 3 consecutive Olympics. The legendary figure of Italy, Armin Zogler, competed in six Winter Olympics in 20 years, winning six medals in a row from Lillehammer 
in 1994 to Sochi in 2014. His daughter Nina Zogler is likely to compete in Beijing, and he will continue to work for Italy's iSports as the country's technical director. In 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics, Austrian Grisha won gold in the men's individual event, thus breaking the Dream Team Germany's monopoly. Can any country challenge the rigorously disciplined Germany in Beijing? In 2022, the brave will gather in Beijing. Let us witness their fast and furious on the ice track.